Well, senior living can be a difficult adjustment for people used to a busy life with work and their families. Well, therapy animals are often a way to help them feel at ease and connect with others. While you may think of dogs as the animal of choice, Sean Chitness shows us how birds are helping seniors in Denver staple to neighborhood. When I see that's on the calendar, I'm like, woohoo, <laughs> it's that day. It's Janet Stensrud's favorite day of the week. It's going to be a good day, and it always is. She's been a resident at Balfour Senior Living for about a year. She didn't know if she made the right decision joining this community at first, but then she met these two. Uh, this is Moose and Squirrel. Two old Dutch capuchin pigeons that visit each week. It's nice to have a dog, but this size you can really snuggle with. Mm -hmm. The birds can be an acquired taste, but usually people come around quickly. I thought they were kidding. <laughs> the first time, I really thought she was kidding. Hi, how are you doing? You want to hold a bird? Jackie Kendall Gable is a pet therapy handler, or the bird lady, who volunteers her time with these seniors. I found out that animals can be soothing, that they can um, help people when they're hurting. So nice and soft today. She says these birds are calm and peaceful, easy to hold, and don't appear scary or make loud noises. There's something about animals that give you more permission to interact. It's on your lap or on your chest. Okay. Each week she brings moose and squirrel, and residents get to know these two birds a little more every time they hold them. The more that same person holds them, the more the bird knows them, the more they know the bird, the more connection is made. Therapy birds like moose here have a vest on them, it has a diaper, and it's also a harness so people like us can hold them. It helps make sure they don't make messes and that they keep things clean for people. The first couple of times that I came, I just fell in love with it. She thinks she's under her mama's wing. Stensrud says the birds gave her new reason to enjoy this stage of life. This has been a, a wonderful opportunity for me to kind of put my heart back at ease and, um, and love the world again. Spending some time sitting with these two leads to everyone getting on their feet as a group. I've been known to twirl around a little bit in my dance presentation. By connecting with the birds, these residents become better neighbors finding more in common, and spending more time together. It's just amazing. It is absolutely amazing. It does work. How are you doing? You know, one thing I love about the show is you always find out something that you didn't know beforehand. Yeah. I love these birds. We wanted Sean to come in and talk a little bit more about this. This is so unique. It seems like such a great program. Yeah, I mean, certainly we think of therapy dogs or therapy right. cats, but this woman has found that birds in some ways can actually be better. I got to hold one myself and really notice instantly you're more relaxed, you're more calm. I think you have the, the responsibility of, of a small animal right. in your hands, and it just kind of changes the mood in the room. Yeah, I just love how creative she got, too, with it. She thought everything out, right, with everything that she had with them, too. So um, how did the residents react to this? You could see them getting up, having fun with it. Did it, um, could you tell that it kind of calmed them down a little bit, too? Yeah, I mean, we heard from Janet. Huge impact for her. Just changed her life. She's kind of got this second act. She even said it was a message from God that she knew she needed to be at that retirement mm -hmm. home. But for other seniors who live there, it helps them in remembering memories. It helps them to get over the fear of being around birds. It, it just has... A a great range of uh, impact on th those residents. So tell us more about the bird lady. What else does she do? So she's a very impressive woman. Jackie is who we saw mm -hmm. in the piece there. This is a volunteer gig for her. She has a full-time job helping out parents and mm -hmm. kids, but she's always loved animals. She grew up on a farm with chickens, and so she learned at an early age the impact that birds can have, and that's why she decided to work with them. And for about a year now, she's been going to that place and really helping these residents connect with the birds and, of course, connect with each other and become a better neighbors at that place. You can see how much she had the bird earrings on. and She's and truly <laughs> the bird lady. I mean, she's earned she that sure title. Is. Sean, thank you so much for introducing us. We just love it. Thanks Absolutely. so much.